This was the problem. It's right here. It's like the clutch separated. This whole thing was burning. I mean, smoking. That's what it's supposed to look like. So that rubber off in there done separated. All right, Rise and Grind, man. I'm back at you with another video with the Pull Up King. This video, we got a Mercedes Benz 2016 CLS 400 4 Matic. And as you can see, we got an AC compressor. So I'm going to show you how to replace it and uh, recharge it. This is a uh, Denso. I got it from uh, PartsGeek.com for like $600. It was like five something plus the taxes and everything. But, uh,. Part number. This thing has uh, oil already in it, so I don't have to worry about that. And that AC compressor is located right here. Let's get it. And let me show you why I got to replace it. That right there, that rubber, the clutch has uh burnt out there was a lot of smoke coming up so you're gonna get it man all right so i basically took this off here easy quick so we got access all right so we got on the top of the compressor we got our ac lines high and low that's those. Those are T45 to loosen those up. And your uh, AC, your Freon should be extracted at this point. I want to show how this thing is set up, where the bolts are. All right. So we looking at, we got to get the top one. And these are all E12 external bolts. On the side. And on the bottom, three. You can see those where the lines go, high and low. So first you wanna, all right, first you wanna get down here to this belt tension. As you can see down here, below it, it has a 17 mil. You could put a socket on there and release the tension, and get the belt off. Got that belt off. We'll work on these two lines here. All right, let me show you what I've got. It's right here. All right, it's a bolt back there. It's an external bolt. So you can put an eight mil socket on it. I got an eight mil on there and it's ready to come on out. Let me get this piece out, this bracket. I took off bracket that goes around this intercooler right here this is the bracket look like that go around it and that bolt this bolt goes in it holds it down take that off and loose it the bottom intercooler holes that's a seven mil or a flathead my goal is to take out this intercooler pipe because it's definitely in the way. All right, we got that bolt loose. Let's see, we got some play. All right, that thing loose. Finally got it loose now. It's going to be a bitch because it has a gasket on it. Trying to get it off by hand is pretty. It's pretty tough to do. That little gasket right there holding that on. So doing it by hand, it was hard, like I say. But what I did was got a pry bar and pried it off. Right here. Got up in there and just pried it off and it popped off. Now we have room and access to these bolts here. 
post there and possibly can work with the other one right here up top this one right here up top Both of them looks like that. We got the top boat out. We're gonna go to the bottom and get the other two. I thought I was gonna have to get them from the bottom, but I was able to reach down there. I got it loose. Can't take it out until you get the, the other boat from the back out. Let's see if I can get that from up top. I was able to get the back boat out. Make sure you disconnect the uh, harness before you snatch it out. And I'm going to show you what I got going on in the back. This is what I did. I used this here. And it's not even an a E socket. I put a regular 3 8 socket on it. I was able to break it loose. work it out all right we got that thing out got all three of the bolts and we should be able to pull it up for right here this was the problem it's right here it's like the clutch separated this whole thing was burning I mean smoking that's what it's supposed to look like so that rubber off in there done separated okay you want to make sure you loosen these uh, T45s up before you put it in um, so it'd be easy to remove you want to also put your bolts that bottom bolt you want to put it in first before you put it in position because it's not going to be it's not going to go in it's going to touch the frame of the car so and make sure that when you put it in you put this bolt in the bracket first and then put the put it in the hole at the bottom of the uh compressor See how that's going to hit right there. So you want to put that in first. Hey, let me point out. You can see it, get, it gives you the low side, 1.67. High side, 3.53. And this side. Uh, About 21 pounds. I want to notate so that back bolt it needs to be put in before you set the AC compressor in position. That front one right there, yeah, you can see that, and that can come out easy. So the best way for me, I put the back bolt in and I tighten it down. Or I didn't tighten it all the way down, but I got it close to tight. Now, I'm going to put that bolt in. Because with that bolt already in there, it's going to be hard to get back here. And let and get that, that uh, ratchet back there. Because I got a, a deep mill socket on it, on that back bolt. So, leave that loose. Put the back bolt in. Now we're going in with the front bolt. Alright, now we can go ahead and 
Put our lines on high and low. Already right, took the caps out. Put the back one on first. Don't forget to replace your gaskets. So with this piping, I put some oil just to lube it up inside. So when I put it on that gasket, it'll slide on easier. Go ahead and put that clamp back on there and that bolt. Alright, we got that clamp in there. And that bolt, you can see it. get that belt on there and we in there everything hooked up I'll put everything back together up top got our pump got our gauges hooked up high and low Got them open, and you want to hook up your yellow line to the pump. So this can be rented, one hundred and eighty dollars from uh, AutoZone. So, yeah. Let's tighten that up. You want to add oil. It says it. Oil must be added before operating. So you add oil will damage cartridge. So you want to add oil in here. When you add it, you can see it going down. You want to get the level right. That's pretty much the whole bottle. Got it sealed off. Go ahead and hook this up, plug it up. And get to, uh, we're going to vacuum, do the vacuum for by about a good hour just to make sure there's no moisture or what not in there and it holds the vacuum. Alright, so the goal is to get below, get down to the zero, and stay down there. Get low, and it's supposed to hold. If it goes back up, then Got to do some more vacuuming. Still down. Go ahead and turn it off. Close these. And we're going to wait another about 30 minutes. Make sure it stays down. If it jumps up, then we... Got a problem. All right, we got 20.8 ounces. All right, so we got a little scale. These are weighing in at 12 ounces. So we're going to use one whole one. I'm going to go ahead and put that in and uh, measure the second can. So first, I want to put some. UV dye in here. Put a little UV dye in there. Just in case. Just to, if anything was to leak next time, we'll know where it's coming from. So I decided to go ahead with this bottle here. It's 18 ounces. I'm going to go ahead and put this whole thing in. I need uh, 21 ounces. 21.12 ounces. Alright, once you fill it to the point where that AC, that clutch kicks in, you'll hear, hear the difference. See it kicked in. Clutch engaged. 